like I'm going to want to put a little extra brace right there where the frame cracks. Speaking of crack, it is literally a crack right there. I don't know if you can see at the top of that. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and cut the little diamond that I'm going to use to put over there on that frame. I've got it marked off here with a piece of soapstone. I'm using these little uh, cutting wheels on my grinder. They're very thin and you can use them to make your cut. I don't have a, uh, a metal cutter. I don't have torches and I don't have a what do they call them newfangled things they cut metal with now I wish I did I intended to get some before I started this pro project but you know you only got so much money and you can only spend it on so many things uh, and right now well I spend it on getting this garage fashioned up and then uh, you know and then on some parts for the hot rod so I guess I'm gonna build this one without the aid of a, of a cutter a plasma cutter but you know <clears throat> Oh well, it'll still get done. And you know what? They was making hot rods before they invented plasma cutters, so what the heck. stick welding. I grew up with a stick welder. Uh, I never had a fancy uh, MIG welder until I got older and I really had not learned to use it all that well. Anyway, I got my piece in place here. I'm going to weld it along this side, uh, put a few spot welds in there to hold it. I'm going to bang the top out of it with a hammer, which is going to draw this end of the frame. You can see that sticking out a little bit because it's not exactly flush and straight there. This isn't a show quality fame frame, it's going to be a functional frame. I just want it to work and be strong and not come apart while I'm bebopping down the road. I had a buddy that built a 20, 23T model back when I was a kid. I wasn't, well, I was, maybe I was 19, 20, 21 years old. First time he took, out, took it out, the radius rods folded up and the front end folded up on him and he had to bring it home on a wrecker. He just didn't use heavy enough metal for his radius rods. He made them himself, bless his heart. But he got that fixed and he was okay after that. I, I don't want to take this thing out and have it, have any part of it fold up on me. I want it to be good and sturdy. So I'm going to do a little welding now. Anyway, uh, this looks pretty good. Uh, it's done. Uh, let's see, am I getting a good shot at it? There you go. Uh, I might take a wire brush or grinder and clean it up a little bit, or I might just leave it. But that's better. I feel better about that. <laughs> 